If you're watching this, you've probably either purchased a Desiderata Flex Pen or you're considering one. And I want to thank you. Before we can begin, you'll have to have your, your pen in front of you. Uh, this is a Daedalus, and I'm going to open it and show you the parts and the things that you'll need to fill and clean and get your pen ready um, are sitting off to the side here. I'll explain them as we need them. Uh, cap. This is the nib connected to the feed and the section. Friction holds them in place. This is the section. Barrel. And this feed, this Hopefully you can see this. This is the ink channel. These are the fins. That's the front. This is the back. This is the nib. Let's see here. This is the vent hole. This slit that goes up and down. It's the slit. And on either side of the slit, uh, are the tines. Okay, the first thing you'll probably want to do is take this pen apart and at least rinse out the barrel, the cap, and the section with some clean water and clean the nib, uh, clean the feed, uh, maybe with uh, some soapy water, maybe just a drop of soap and a, about a pint of water, and a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, just to make sure that there isn't anything in there that can get in the way. And we'll deal with cleaning the, the nib later. This, you'll probably want handy, is just a bowl of our soapy water. I'll clean the nib with this old toothbrush. Clean the feed with this old toothbrush. Okay. Clean out the rest of the feed. Okay, here's our clean feed. I'm going to use the same container of clean water. Uh, just to flush the barrel, make sure there's anything in there. Using a high volume transfer syringe. We'll try this now. And nothing comes out. So we can pour some water and air in there. Okay. In the barrel. Same thing with the cap. Okay. And the section. Okay. So that's cleaning the parts of the pen. Uh, the next thing we need to do is prepare the nib. Now these nibs come factory, factory prepared, covered with an anti-rust coating that we have to remove. To show you what I mean, I'm going to take this bottle of ink, which you'll need to fill it. This is uh, this is what we'll use to fill it. And now uh, this is not um this is not necessary, but I do it because it makes it easier to dip. I'm going to use this set of forceps just to hold on to it. You can use your fingers if you want. I'm going to dip this unprepared nib into the bottle of ink. We'll see what happens. Okay. No coverage. Almost no coverage here. Okay? That's not what we want. So, I'm going to rinse this off. Now, there are many ways of preparing a nib. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you the way that I do it because it's the fastest way to prepare the nib that I think poses the least risk. You'll need, you'll need your nib. Oh boy. Glad <laughs> I put that away. Uh, You'll need your nib, get move this feed here, and your favorite um, melamine-based consumable scouring sponge, doesn't really matter where you get it, and some toothpaste with a little abrasive in it. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with that gel stuff, but well, that might work okay too. I'm going to cut a little piece off, and this 
and I'm going to use this other set of forceps, which you don't have to use, you can use your fingers for this, but I'm going to use it because it's easier on my hands, to hold on to the little sponge. Dip the nib in some water, get some toothpaste on it. Scouring sponges like this work best when they're wet. And I'm going to just scrub this nib. Just going to scrub it over this bowl. Now, the video probably won't pick this up, but once you get the, the protective coating completely off, once you've gone through it, the feedback that you get, the, the, the tactile feedback that you get, will be kind of squeaky. Now I'm going to clean all of this area, whole underside of the nib, I'm going to clean the top too. Uh, you don't really need to clean the back of the nib, you know, on the top side where the writing is because there's not a whole lot of, uh, it's not necessary that the ink go there. But it won't hurt because then you'll, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, hear the squeaking? If you don't, I promise, it's squeaking there. That's on the underside of the nib. So I'm going to get a little bit more toothpaste. A little bit on the back. I'm going to get the top. Only doing this to be thorough. Let's get this over here. Okay, you get this squeakiness. When I get done with this, I'm going to repeat this procedure again in another video with no speaking, just to give you a sense of about how long this might take uh, once you've gotten the hang of it. I'm going to do this with another pen that hasn't been tested. Okay, that's probably pretty good. So. I'm going to take that same toothbrush, I'm doing this off camera. I'm going to take that same toothbrush and I'm going to clean the nib back off with clean water. I just wet the nib in my mouth for a moment because saliva is always pretty good to get off anything that you missed. And we'll try this again. Total coverage on the back, partial coverage on the top. See that area? It doesn't have the that doesn't have any ink on it. Okay, that's it's not horribly necessary that we get that. It's very important that the back of the nib be coated with ink when you test this. But uh, just for grins, let me just clean off the top of it. Try that again. I'll do this off camera. I'll try this again. See if it does any better. There we go. This is the top of the nib. Everything, including that G, is covered. And the back of the nib, covered with ink. I am satisfied. Now, just wicking off some of the ink. Now, 
Uh, we install the nib, fill the pen, and test it. We take our section. Now, I'm going to take the nib with a vent hole, place the vent hole, point that way, front of the feed that way. I'm going to place the, if you can see this, I'm going to slide the vent hole up until it meets with the end of the ink channel, and then I'm going to push it about a 32nd of an inch past it, just a little bit. I'll take it, push it back into the section, make sure there are no huge gaps around the base or anything, and then I'm going to hold this up to a strong light, looking through the back to make sure that there's a little gap down here and that the tines meet at the tip. That is essential. That's how it looks, and the distance is just a little bit more, a little bit less than 15 sixteenths of an inch. This is 29 30 seconds of an inch. Not hugely crucial, just squeeze it back into the section until it feels pretty snug and that there are no gaps, no significant gaps. There might, the tines might not meet at the tip. If they don't meet, it's okay if they have a bit of a gap, something maybe a half of a thousandth of an inch to a thousandth of an inch. Uh, for perspective, most human hairs are somewhere between one and five thousandths of an inch. You'll just see a little light through there, but if the, if the ink can climb up that little slit and get to the tip, then it's fine. If it's too far apart where the ink can't make it there, then that's no good. But hopefully, a pen like that wasn't shit. All right, so we take this. And now you'll need your silicone grease. This is more silicone grease than anybody has any business buying, but, well, that's what I have. Uh, put a little grease on it. Spread it around. Okay. And now, going to use this syringe and you can use an eyedropper or whatever you have handy to do this. I just use this because it's convenient. I like to run a little bit of ink through the back of it just to get it ready so that the ink channel is saturated with ink before I begin. Okay. Okay. Put that down. Now, ever so slowly, I'm going to fill the barrel. To make sure that I don't trap any air bubbles in the bottom that might try to escape later and cause us any kind of headaches. Occasionally you might get an air bubble stuck at the bottom and when you upend the pen after you fill it the first time it'll help push the rest of the ink out. This pen was designed to hold the ink inside the barrel through surface tension alone. Uh, but just to see what happens. I just filled it up and this was clean. I'll see what happens if I try to pour it out. Okay. Not bad. Keep that open. The barrel is full. Screw the threads back on. Wipe it off. And I'm going to upend it back over the ink bottle just in case one of those little accidents happens. This is what I go through when I test a new pen. Checking for any leaks. Okay, those are, that is no pressure at all. Gonna keep it going here. 
That's no pressure at all. And increasing pressure. Okay. Take this, make sure, okay. It should fall out of here when it's being tapped. Okay, there we go. Should look like that. See how ink sticks to the back of the nib? Now the top. Okay, now I had finger oil all over this paper. This isn't a clean sheet. Let's try this. Okay, now the next, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat this procedure with a pen that I haven't tested. I haven't tested this one either until just now. I'm going to repeat it with a new pen and I'm not going to speak. No explanations, so you can get a sense of about how long this will take once you have the hang of it. Thank you for your time.